So the January transfer window is officially open. And you guys know we have 54 million pounds to spend and we do have a couple of players still to sell. So that budget will go up in today's episode. You guys left your suggestions and we will be making signings. But guys, we have a massive seasonal objective which we have not yet completed with Lewandowski. We have one more game in the Premier League before we are officially in the January window. And Lewandowski needs to score 15 goals before January. And first. He's currently at 13. So in that Man City game, he has to score two goals. But if he does not complete this objective, he cannot play in the round of 16 and the quarterfinal if we get to it off the Champions League. Please, no! No! And the round of 16 was drawn last episode. And you guys know we have Jose Mourinho's Roma, which should be a good game to be fair. That has to be us in the quarterfinal, right? And as always, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, subscribe if you're new, turn the bell on, and let's get into it. Now, last episode's player of the episode has to go to Rafael Correjo. What an episode he had. The now 89 rated player completely smashed it, scoring an absolute screamer last episode. Of course, we're the January transfer window now, so a lot of this press conference will be about what signings we're going to make, what players we could sell, and we're going to start off with this comment by Josh the Goat, suggesting we sell him again. I know, big statement, and he's saying I know a lot of people won't like that, but you have Fernandez and Douglas Costa. Douglas Luiz. Who's Douglas Costa? Played for Bayern, didn't he? A completely different player anyway. I don't feel that he is doing the job, especially now Guerrero is a midfielder. Sell him. And he goes on to say he's realised that we don't actually have a backup left back because Guerrero was a man to be that. So he's saying you could go in for Cucurella or Marino. Oh, wow. I did actually read the end of this. Th th this is weird. He says at the end, I've realised that Minx is getting on a little bit and he recommends Bremer, a centre-back. Now, that was one of the players who I was going to just say we're selling in today's episode. I didn't even see that. And one of the players I was going to suggest we replace him with is that player. I mean, that caught me off guard. That did. That, that really did. Mings on the transfer list. Same as McGinn on the transfer list. I know McGinn IRL is a big player, but in this, he just, he's not going to play. And if Fernandez is going to be a real backup, then we really need to get rid of this guy. Now, next up, we have Banana Slice saying sign Juan Miranda because you need a backup left back also suggesting that and his value is just 14 million 21 years old 76 rated with 84 potential now i've put a bunch of left back and center back suggestions on the short list we'll properly get to this after the press conference but kukurea is 83 rated would cost 40 50 million i mean as a backup that is massive alex marino i believe is around 80 rated probably would cost 18 million i mean he's got double that for his release clause which he won't pay and miranda also has a similar release clause probably get him around 20 million as well and we have sebastian saying don't renew any of your players contracts who are expiring come end of the season as it would just be a waste of money i completely agree because last episode i said we'll leave this till next episode the fact we've got gilbert catino douglas louise all with seven months left on their deal but yeah you're right we might as well just not renew them they may have someone come in and sign them in january which will be annoying i mean perhaps at the end of the window if we have money remaining we might just sign them up because you never know. We might continue this career mode on Twitch. Our last episode's episode objective was to score seven goals with Robert Lewandowski. As you can see, currently is at 13 goals. Last episode, he scored 11 goals. So he very much so has completed that. So we don't have to do the fourth bit. We can play him within simulated games in today's episode. But today's episode objective comes from Agban. So he scored two goals with Bailey and Hazard. Fourth bit is you have to play them as four backs. Now I'm going to adjust this slightly. In one of the games, I don't know how many games we play in today's episode, but in one of them, which we actually play, we have to score with both Bailey and Hazard, and we'll go with your forfeit. If we don't complete it, next episode, in one of the games, we have to play them as four backs for the entirety of that match. Now we have so many options for left back. We have Alex Marino, Cucurella, as I said, Miranda, Zonta. I have added some players on here, some players you've probably never heard of. And they're the type of players I kind of want to go in for. We've heard of Pedrosa and Windell, but Esla, 22, Brazilian. He's one of them Brazilians who's like 80 rated, but only has 80 potential for whatever reason. Looks really good. Rapid, by the way. Now, I'm actually just going to show you his stats straight up on Sofipa. He is 79 rated, 21, four star skills, and look at that acceleration and sprint speed. Looks really, really good. And the other dude, Zonta, who is now in his 30s, is even quicker. 
and look at that speed and acceleration. Insane. Four star weak foot, two star skilled, and 81 rated. So he's probably gone up in rating. Would be a solid backup. Oh, we can't even go in for Zonta because he's too important. Please don't say the same for this dude. Okay, they actually let us go in for this guy. He is valued in the first season at 20 million. If we come in with 29 million, are they just going to walk out? They say yes. They straight up say yes. The fact they just said yes straight away, I'm a little concerned. There really is no need to be. Them wages and signing on bonus seems to be fine. We've made a signing. What rating is this guy? Where is he? Oh, it's not even January yet. We still have a game to play. Remember, we still have John McGinn and Tyro Mings to sell. So that's more money to come in. And of course, when we sell Tyro Mings, we'll have to sign another backup center back. And that's something we'll do after the City game. That's probably going to be bigger than the left back situation because it's a more important position. But this game is massive. We're currently second, two points off top. And Manchester City are three points below us in uh, fourth place. We played them last episode and beat them 3-1, I'm pretty sure. But there really is no need to rotate in this game. Uh, I'm, in fact, I'm going to play Guerrero at camp. He's now 89 rated. We'll, we'll do that. We'll play Enzo Fernandez. Uh, I just feel Philip Coutinho hasn't been that great recently. And I, I don't really want to play Buendia. But if we play anything like we did in the last game last episode against them, we'll be completely fine here. Hazard, he does need to score. But, oh, I nearly forgot. Levin, Levin Goldski. He needs a brace. He needs two goals in this game. As we're absolutely effed. It's Leon Bailey. Just going to wind one up from... Oh, this guy! I don't get it! Why do we score such good goals? That left foot, I'm telling you, is something else. It really is. He did it against him last episode. Just from wherever, hits it. It's just menacing. That's incredible. That really is incredible. By Leon Bailey. Incredible hit. It's 1-0 Villa. Oh, tri tripped up a little bit there. Here's Phil Foden, who also did well against us last episode. Looking for that left foot. No Erling Haaland right now. They go for the shot, and it's a good block. Here comes Enzo Fernandez. Slip that to Levin Golski. Yes, if we can get a goal straight away, this is massive. This needs to be one of them games where we score a lot of goals. It's instantly 2-0. They're so exposed at the back there. Levin Golski on his left, but what a finish that is in the bottom left-hand corner. Bottom right-hand corner. Yeah, it's a great finish. That's what we have bought him for. Oh, Kamara, that's beautiful. There's gaps. Oh, there's gaps, but not the right gaps. Is is Hazard. Take a touch. Can he? Oh, there we go. That's the episode objective completed. There's a goal for Bailey and Eden Hazard within the same match. I would much prefer to get that second goal of Lewandowski. I accidentally say his name like that, by the way. I, I, it's almost like I can't even say his actual name. Oh, no. Cash has just been done there. Haaland. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, there's the clean sheet gone. We didn't even need to say the word clean sheet and we've conceded. Number 18. Who is that? Looks like Thomas Muller. Who was that for City? It Thomas Muller. We've got Lewandowski playing for Villa. Thomas Muller for City. That's interesting. Haaland. Mares. Oh, well done, Conza. That was big. Get back up. Penalty. That, that, that's, that's a penalty. I don't think the game understands what just happened there. Haaland. Oh, Conza. Massive tackles there. That's a beautiful ball to... I thought it was. All we need is the ball. Lewandowski in the right position and we break. Well done, Dinier. We've got two minutes added on. This is massive. This is our Champions League on the line. Oh, it's a save. Come on, please, City. Get everyone in the box. We need to break from this. Where is Levin? He's in the box. No, he's not. I don't know where he is. I, I, yeah, it's gone. It's gone. It's so frustrating, man. It's such a hard challenge. I had to score two goals with him against Man City. And that's it. Game gone. Ping it up as, as much as you want. And the referee's going to blow. Who is Ref, I love doing this game. Robert Jones, you prat. So we're officially in January now, and we have our player. He's 79 rated. We have paid 30 million for a 79 rated player. I thought this is going to be an exciting signing. He is. He has good stats, but he really hasn't gone up, has he? What's his value? 18 million. Oh, dear me. Oh, dear me. That is not that great. We'll put a development plan on him, and he should grow. I guess because he has no potential. It's good signing in career mode, I guess. Get him for valuation or something close because he will never grow a per development plan on him, and he'll grow for you. We lose 2-0 to Leeds United. We get, Oh, no. Please don't be Danny Please, I know the second player is going to be Danny Ings. It's Dan James. That's awful. That really is a 2-0 loss to Leeds. We have a Tyro Mings transfer offer. 
RB Leipzig. They offer his valuation, but I'm going to ask for 14 and a half. They walk out. They, they say straight up, no, you're kidding me. Okay, we're rotating here. We've got the first game in the FA Cup. Please don't be losing this. It's Wigan. Come on, Vela. It's a 2-1 win. Leon Bailey and Leon Bailey again. Real Madrid come in for Enzo Fernandez, offering 32 million. Uh, no, you can come in for McGinn, but not Fernandez. There we go. We have an offer. I was afraid it was going to be one of them windows where we just don't get offers for players. Uh, we still need to sell him again. Mings. Mings. McGinn. Uh, same player. He's worth 22. I'm going to ask for 25. They say yes. Unai Emery likes that one. Oh, Sevilla come in with the competition as well. 24.6. I know I asked for like valuation for him. But if we're actually getting some competitive offers, then 28 million. He would go to Sevilla instead. Right. Okay. They they just offer the same thing. 26 million. Go on. Yes, they accept. There we go. But Chelsea come in. 63.2 million for Konza. Absolutely not. And you know what? He wouldn't even want to go there. We are now three points behind Liverpool, by the way, who are top of the league. We've got another team in Merseyside, and it's evident away. I see no need to make any changes. Come on, Villa. Let's get three points. A 1-0 win. There we go. Lewandowski, but Hazard picking up a knock. Right, at the moment of truth. How long is it? McGinn has officially been sold. Transfer offer for Mings and Bailey. But how long is that injury? Three months. You're kidding me. No. He's out for the rest of the season. That is so disappointing. We may actually have to go and buy a winger. Arsenal. Offer for Mings. Have him. Why not? That is such a big injury. That is absolutely massive. Three months from now would be April. It would be April three months from now. Yeah. I mean, I this is where Hudson Odoi comes in, right? But for centre-back replacements for Mings, we have a couple of options. We have this guy's 82 rated. Would just be a solid player. We can play him as a rotation. It would do a great job. Same as this dude. Really not slow. Uh, an incredible option. And we have Hanko who is left-footed. We can get him for valuation. We have three solid, solid choices here. The better one probably being Brima. Uh, Nico, his last name may be a little bit of a, uh, a problem. Schlotterbeck, whatever that is. He is younger, so we will just go in for him right now and give it a good old offer. I'm just going to offer straight up 40 million. Not 140 million. We don't even have that. 40 million. They want Coutinho. Why? Right, 44 million, and they say yes. That is an expensive signing right right there for a backup center back but it's worth it you know sometimes when we're rotating we have to we have to play tyro mings that, that's terrifying it's gonna come to the premier league 50k a week 100k signing on bonus oh, okay he's got a good agent he wants more welcome to villa he's got the number 21 we will improve that week for and as i said he's not slow he's got 75 speed 70 acceleration or the other way around mings is still to be sold same as mcginn right i don't no i don't think so but with this situation with hazard of course, we have Hudson Adoy, who is signed to be a rotation. So, of course, we will play him. And uh, because this situation, I feel we should probably recall Jacob Ramsey and have Wendera as the backup winger and then play Ramsey as the backup cam. Instead of going out and signing another player, three signings in January, it's just a little bit over the top, I think. But massive game now at home. Villa Park against Arsenal. They're fifth in the league. And, of course, we're trying to get back into that title race. We are still in it but we obviously got that big l to uh leeds united i'm pretty sure it was and we're now like three points behind liverpool so we can't be dropping any points this is a massive game we have to be winning it here comes arsenal early on Odegaard, best thing since sliced bread. Oh, he's going to nope. hit one. What a save by former Arsenal player, Ami Martinez. Corner whipped in by Odegaard. That's a good corner. That's a good corner. Well done, Cash. Nice ball control as well. Clear it up. Pitch. Oh, we failed to clear the ball. Odegaard on the ball right now. Cash with the tackle. There we go. We've got Lewandowski in a nice spot here. Here he is on his right. Oh, what a save by the keeper. That's a big ball to, uh, to Guedes in behind for Arsenal here. Come on, good defending. Hold your man up. No, he's got straight past us. Oh, it's got him. It's awful. It's really bad defending, that is. That's terrible. And then the goalkeeping as well. That was bad. Ooh. No. That's offside. That, I, no, that's offside. So, it's not. It's not offside. Oh, it's you. You're like 40. What a terrible goal to concede. That is awful. It's 2-0 it's Arsenal. That is absolutely terrible. That is some of the worst defending I've ever seen. That's terrible. No, oh, Saka's just gone straight around us. Come on, please get a tackle in. No, 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 no. Not 3-0. Not 3-0. Don't take the absolute piss. 
Benzema. Why would Benzema want to play for Arsenal? How many Champions Leagues has he won? And how many Champions Leagues have Arsenal won? Uh, oh, it's 3 now. It's... Oh, no. It's actually 3 now to Arsenal before halftime. You know, we're normally 3 now up before halftime. And now we've been absolutely smacked. Odegaard, best thing since sliced bread. Right, we've got to score three goals now. I, uh, You know, I don't want to lose this game. You know, a point... Not a great result. I'm not losing this game. Not at all. Not on, the, not on my watch right now. Here's Leon Bailey. Don't, don't. Come on. Hit one. Oh, yes. Yes, come on. Go around with the goal. Don't celebrate. You look like a prat. Get the ball. Get the ball. There we go. Respect. Respect. Oh, okay, they're passing it to us now. Konza, I'm not playing that to... I am. I am. I am. Yes. Lewandowski. No, what was that? That was a great opportunity. I don't know what he was doing there. Here's Guerrero on the ball. Coutinho. Camara. Not playing that to Bailey. It'll just get intercepted like every other ball this game. It's just been a complete different game. It's been awful. Guerrero coming forward. Come on, Lewandowski. I want a better run than that. It's a ball in behind for Hudson Adoy. We've won a corner. Come on. You know, Arsenal, they don't have a spine. They'll bottle it if you get the noise up because they play at an echo chamber anyway. Hudson Odoi from range on his right. Going to hit one. Oh, well done. Well done, Guerrero. That's good. Yes, whoever this is running in behind. We need this goal now. We need it now. Philip Coutinho, absolutely bladder it. Yes, come on. 3-2, get the ball. That's it. We're back in it. We make a change. We make a change. You've just scored a goal, but you're getting off. We're bringing on Buendia, and on the left, we're bringing on Watkins. They're the changes we're going to make, and we're getting a point minimum from this game against Arsenal. Okay, this, this is the build-up play to the goal. This is the build-up play to the goal we're about to score. Buendia coming forward. Slip that in behind to Lewandowski. This is good. Lewandowski onto that right foot. Here he is. Going to hit what is being crap. Give him a proper opportunity. He scores it. But apart from that, his build-up play has been like his uh, his physical stats. Here's Dinier coming forward. I'm not playing it. I'm not playing it to you, Lewandowski. Here's... Yes, yes, yes! Come on! Yes! Yeah, sit down! That's it! They've sat down! They've sat down! Sit down! It's three all at Phillip Park. How long do we have left? Can we actually possibly win this game? You know, they've got a little ahead of themselves. They're no longer 10th. They're 5th. No. Yeah, two minutes added on. Yeah, yeah. Who's the ref? Who's the ref? Paul Tierney. Isn't he the, uh, the ref who runs out of breath quite easily? So Mings, Tyra Mings has officially now been sold to, to Arsenal. 12.5 million. We have Stoke City now in the cup. I don't really want to be doing all this messing around. It is Stoke City, uh, so you have to be careful of them, you, you know? I knew centre-back will play, but for Carlos, in fact, I knew left-back will play it also. But we're going to sim this. We're at home. Come on, don't go out this competition. We need to win this this year. Cash with a brace. Come on. So we did just play Arsenal, who were fifth. They're actually in the top four now, by the way. We've got Chelsea, who are three points behind us, and they're now fifth place. Uh, because we played Arsenal, and uh, going into this, season i did say the champions league of course is our priority because we won the league last year this is a game i feel we could actually sim full strength side no hidden hazard you know unfortunate but we're gonna sim this at the bridge it's a it's a 3-2 win dinier bailey and robert Lewandowski, lakaku and cotez or Co coates for them but as i said instead of making a signing we'll just recall jacob ramsey from his loan and when can become our backup winger and our backup Camp can become Jacob Ramsey, who's now 82 rated. How on earth is he 82 rated? Why? How has he gone up by three ratings? I don't get it. The power of just putting a player out and loan, he goes up by three ratings. I'm shocked. I'm actually shocked. I I don't understand how that has happened. We're definitely going to use him more now. Transfer deadline day now. We don't have any business to do, but they're the signings we made this window. He didn't even class that left back as a signing because it wasn't during the January window. We lose 2-1 to West Ham United, guys. We drop more points to Kurt Zuma and Mikel Antonio. Every time we get close to Liverpool in this title race, we just go and lose. Drop three points like that. We've got Crystal Palace away now. We will rotate slightly because our very next game is in the Champions League and we don't have Lewandowski to play. So we are going to rotate like this. This is where we can play our backup centre-back, which I love. Away from home, Salhurst Park. Come on, Villa, don't be dropping more points. A 1-0 win. Enzo Fernandez. Come on. Two.
So as I mentioned, the next game is Roma in the Champions League round of 16. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode and are excited for that game, then leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Turn the bell on. In the top left of your screen should be a video that YouTube recommends you watch.